Hello comrades and fellow model makers. Welcome to another build story. I'm going to be building the T62. Now this isn't a kit review or an opening box thing. I'm going to leave that to the other YouTubers out there, especially Andy at Andy's Hobby Headquarters. This is just basically going to be a build story. So I'm going to be building this. But uh, yeah, I will do sort of go through the instructions and that. Here's the instructions. Oh, the other way around. And uh, yeah, basically, yeah, there's the instructions. We're going to start here at number one, like you do. So yeah, as per usual, I'm going to have some music playing. So yeah, let's start at number one. And that's the road wheels, which is pretty bod standard for any start of a kit when you're building a tank. So let's go. I'm going to be fast forwarding a bit. By the way. Now you're probably wondering why the two cardboard boxes well there is two different types of road wheels plus it's somewhere to put all your bits and pieces like the the supposed to be rubber outside bit which isn't rubber by the way it's hardened plastic and the inner bit it's just to separate it all out really you get the gist Going to jump to the next bit using a bit of camera video editing trickery, should I say? Right now there is a little ridge. I'm just going to show you how you put these together. And so there is a little ridge. You put that in there like that, and then Bob's your uncle. And then what you've got to do next, you've got to put this bit onto that bit. So basically, you're sticking these two bits together as it shows you in the instructions. There you go. So let's go on with that. So that bit to that bit.
Now in the instructions there are different road wheels marked A and B. I'm going to mark them in the box A and B because that's where they are. And then I'm going to move on to the sprockets and the running wheels and things like that. Now with that bit done, we can now move on to part two. So we can cross that bit off. Just get a pencil, cross that bit off, done that bit. So we can move on to the lower hole, part two, which is attaching all these bits. Let's put this safely to one side. And here's the lower hole. I have to say, this is lovely cast. It's a shame you're not going to see the underneath of it because it, it looks really good. Uh, maybe I uh, might get do this model again and do an underneath bit. I don't know. Here's the bits I'm going to cut off. So yeah, a lovely cast as well. Let's start cutting these bits off. Oh yeah, these bits as well. They go on the side here. So yeah, let's start cutting. So. Again with the fast forwarding. Hope you're enjoying the music by the way. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And leave a comment in the comment section below. Oh, by the way, the music is by the Red Army Chorus. Quite appropriate, being it's a Russian tank.
Right, now we're going to be moving on to section 3. Now I'm going to be doing something slightly different here because I want the suspension to be moving, if you, if you will, because I'm going to have it on a base. So I want the wheels to be uneven because it's going to be on rough terrain. You'll see later on. But I'm going to carry on with the lower hole and add these bits uh, and the back bit. So these are optional, by the way. You can have either of these. But, yeah, that's the back bit. <laughs> so I'm going to carry on adding these little bits and pieces and continue with the build before I move on to the next bit, which will probably be in part two. So we're coming to the end of part one of this build story. There will be another part, a smaller section where I'm going to be showing you how to do the road wheels on an uneven surface. So that means I'm going to build a base. Um, but yeah, and obviously the build story will continue. But that pretty much brings us to the end of the whole build, apart from the wheels, tracks, and <laughs> some other bits and pieces. But anyway, join me next time.